All Mississippi prisons have been on lockdown since this weekend and after four deaths in five days, as we've told you, the Department of Corrections says it is using all available resources. But one local lawmaker says the problem goes deeper and more needs to be done. 12 News, Kate Cornell has that part of the story. It's been a bloody few months for the Mississippi prison system statewide. It is in horrible shape. It's in turmoil. It's in crisis. At least four inmate deaths in the past week, and the entire system is currently on lockdown. MDOC's communications released a statement explaining the current lockdown situation, saying that movement remains restricted in all of the prisons. They ensured that the conditions at Parchman and all other prisons, state, private, and regional, are under control. I spoke with one local lawmaker, Senator John Horn of District 26. He begs to differ. Horn says that there is no simple fix, but that managing the overcrowding is a place to start. The long-term solution is that we've got to come up with, with some ways to do significant reform so that we cut down on the number of people who are incarcerated and we give them the kinds of tools they need to become productive citizens. Funding is another major issue. Horn says that guards are underpaid and prisons are understaffed. They're the ones who are on the front line of, of the system. And if you're paying someone minimum wage to, to, to guard uh, what may be a dangerous population, I think that that's very unrealistic that, that we'll uh, be able to get and keep good people who know what they're doing. Horn adds that legislature and MDOC must work together to dip into the general fund to provide more support for all prison staff. In Jackson, Kate Cornell, 12 News.